Hey guys and welcome to another Blender Tooltips video. This is a tutorial series that shows you some of the tools in Blender that you may have never heard of or would like to know more about. So the tool today that we're going to be exploring is the proportional editing tool and if you're experienced in Maya it's called the soft selection tool and it allows us to modify things uh, in proportion to one another with a variable uh, radius of modification. So the way that we activate proportional editing is in object or edit mode you can hit O and that'll activate it here as you can see. You can also click this button and there are a couple tangents that we can use for the fall off of our editing uh, today. Today we're just going to be using smooth which is the default tangent and that's just going to give us a smooth fall off radius. So something that we might want to do to explain what proportional editing is, is uh, let's go ahead and use our default cube and use control R to give it a few loop cuts. Hit mouse wheel up to increase your number of loop cuts. Hit left click to confirm. And uh, this will give us some geometry to work with. What we're going to do now is shift and right click these four top corners. And then we're going to hit O to activate our proportional editing. Now proportional editing is activated and we can use R, S, or G to grab, scale, or rotate our uh, vertices that we've selected here. And normally, if we were to size, it would just size these vertices or rotate, it would rotate these vertices or grab them, it would just rotate those. But if we have proportional editing activated, if we use size, you can see that we now have this sphere and it's, al it's allowing us to modify multiple vertices at the same time. The sphere uh, that you see around our selection as we are using our tool is the fall off radius and this can be modified with your mouse wheel so you can increase it and decrease it as you can see the smaller it is the less it affects and the bigger it is the more it affects you can get some really cool deformation effects this way uh, by increasing your fall off radius quite a bit and you can get some really cool squash and stretch effects so this is proportional editing. If you have any questions, uh, please ask in the comment section below. Like and favorite. Thank you.